Any of the Tim Burton movie? I'm not. No, I'm not a fan of. What about Edward Scissorhands? Nope. Oh. oh my God! How oh dare God. you? Uh, Such a beautiful movie. <laughs> He's so misunderstood, and he's just, oh my god. <laughs> what are we talking about? Oh yeah, well he's said that he just saw Infinity War. I was about to say, I'm he like, saw Infinity you are a shit. Oh, Damn, you I fucking know, finally did it. Finally. finally this is the end, finally. This was oh, yeah. a previous DC fan right here. Yes. But I'm a huge Marvel fan now. After seeing all these, hell yeah! How huge Which are you? Which your favorite one? Okay, I have to see Endgame. So far, to, yeah, to make my final decision. But right now, honestly, I still like Thor uh, Ragnarok, and I and now I'm really liking Infinity War. It's like one of actually made me cry three times. Three oh. times, bro. That's cute. I've been waiting to talk to this guy about Infinity War and Endgame. Yeah. Those have to be watched like back to back. Okay. Yeah, so I was actually gonna be uh like stop it in the middle and watch it today, finish watching it today, but like it was so addicting that I was just like, no, nah. I was like, I'm gonna finish it. That's I'm good. Yeah, yeah. That watching. movie you yeah. can, you can. If, yeah, you really I can. It was gonna spoil it for me, like if I just stop somewhere and then just wait. But no, like after a scene with Iron Man happens, I was like, oh no, I gotta keep. Watching. Oh, you're near the end. You might as well have finished it. Yeah. Like... So. Oh wait, you didn't finish it. I finished it. Oh, again. I mean, I didn't like the ending. Oh, I know what? it's supposed to lead on to the next movie, but the way it was just... He Thanos won, thing. dude. I know, but... He won. Uh, That's what they were trying to establish. Is like, <laughs> you thought the Avengers were going to win? Nah, all your heroes are dead. Go the fuck home. Wait till next year. Like, <laughs> That's crazy, though. A lot of, good, a lot of yeah. good moments in that, though. Uh, when she uh, Gamora gets killed, I cried during that scene. I was like... I told them that I felt more for Thanos than I did for, Gam for Gamora there. Because this guy... Yeah. He, I just, now I can see yeah. why, like, what you mean by that. But like, you've seen such a powerful person. Well, he like at his weakest point, and he because he was willing, or he, it was hard for him, but he was willing to yeah. kill his daughter to get what he wanted. And that to me, I was like, damn, this guy is dedicated, oh, dude. Those are... Yeah, dedication. I was like pretty sad about that when uh, Iron Man gets stabbed. You think I he was gonna that die? Was the end for him. I was like, no. Because we kind of, we did kind of give you spoilers a uh, a while back that he does, and that's probably when you thought. Look, you can tell me all the spoilers you want, but if it happens like within next week, I'll probably forget about it. So it was all new to me. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I did you gasp? But you're like, <gasps> yes. When he got stabbed, yes. <laughs> that's how the theater was. I thought it was gonna end right then and there, but when Doctor Strange yeah. gives him the stone, I was like. Oh, there was no other you gotta way. Remember, though, you got to remember, he saw Doctor Strange is the only one that saw the the one outcome. Yeah, that yeah. they oh, made yeah, it like he's like, oh, how many times did we win out of like fourteen million? 14 billion. Yeah. It was like once. <laughs> I at first I thought because they build up his answer, so I at first I thought he was gonna be like none. All that. Yeah. Oh shit! But even when he said one, made it even more intense. I'm like, God damn, they got one in. 14,000, 14, 14 million whatever. chances to, to beat Thanos. <laughs> the noose. The noose. <laughs> the noose around their neck. Oh, shit. That ending, though, was crazy. You're just like, wait. It's it? Movie's yeah. over? Yeah. See you next year. Like, it sure reminded me of yeah. Empire Strikes Back. No, That's I like the is. scene. Uh, <clears throat> what's that dude's name? Samuel Jackson's character again? Nick Fury. Fury. When he's like calling on Captain Marvel and then the page just drops, he's like, mother... Oh, the after the credits? Yes. And I like, was like, Mother. I'm so excited to see Captain Marvel in the next one. So, I mean. Yeah, where the hell was she? I like how they set that up, though. The, the whole where everyone's, like, disappearing. Like, yeah. you hear thunder. It's all quiet. No music. It's just, like, everyone's like, what the hell is going on? Like, so, is the next movie going to be, like, basically, like, what do you with think? everyone that's left off? What do you think? Like, I'm just asking, like. Well, because I know some people stayed, you know, they started dissolving, but then some of them actually, like, stayed. Like. Did you notice, besides Rocket and, of course, Nebula, it's most of the original Avengers that yeah. popped up in the first one that survived? Mm -hmm. Black so Widow. It was kind of like an Captain homage. America. Yeah. Uh, Black I mean, Falcon died. Um, it's Scarlet Witch? Yep. She, she vanished, right? She faded, bro. She faded, bro. 
Gru. Uh, oh, Gru. Yeah. I was so sad when Gru fucking dissolved. Again, dude, Rocket loses Groot again. That hurt me. I was like, damn, again, bro? Shit. Uh, and he can't fucking plant another seed. To yeah, because he has nothing from him now. Yeah. <laughs> well, unless he uses uh, Thor's hammer. If he, I mean, uh, axe if he finds it somehow. Because that is part of In the group. seed or yeah. something. Maybe. That would be a That's cool a like, little... Cool. Was, oh, what do you think of that scene where that... I oh, I was whole... like, hell yeah, he got killed. I was like, fuck yeah, this is how it's going to end. But then, no, like, he's still... No, when fucking Thor takes the whole, like, power of the of a son to... Oh, yeah. That shit, that shit I like... was intense. Man, that fool fucking quemado. Yeah. Made I like the... Uh, he the joke in that scene where he's like, if you do this, he's like, it might kill you. Only if I die. Yes. That's what it's killing you means. <laughs> <laughs> That who Thor was faded, bro. Dude, yeah. it was hysterical, man. It was sad to learn that uh, his spaceship or whatever got like, half you know, half. yeah, like they got destroyed. Half of them got destroyed. Um, so it, it leaves off from what happened in uh, Ragnarok. Like they all leave in the yeah. spaceship, and then and they're they already out. like doing bad, and yeah. then fucking Than- Thanos shows up and kills half of them. That was sad. And all, a lot of people okay. were speculating that uh, what's your name from Ragnarok? That chick, uh, Valkyrie. Valkyrie was dead, but they were mm. like, no, they said they killed half, so she might be alive. And then, Ooh. yeah, so. Or she might be dead. Or she might be dead. But, uh. I hope that they actually explain that in just, future movies. One of the things, too, is like, uh, that you're missing out on, and people told me that when I was watching Harry Potter, is the people's reaction. Oh, um, yeah. To scenes. Nothing's going to compare it to seeing it in theaters. I mean, I kind of wish that at, at that time I would have experienced it in theaters, but. I don't know. It just didn't catch my eye. It didn't appeal to me at that time. All about the DC, huh? Yeah, it was yeah. like more anticipated for like a Batman. That film. first Infinity trailer, Infinity War trailer, didn't hook you. I don't yeah. even think I remember it. I need to see that, that shit. Hype me I need to see that again. Yeah, <laughs> that's. Yeah, I don't think I even remember seeing it. I don't remember seeing the trailer. But I mean, that's the difference between the DC movies Jesus and the Marvels Christ. is that the this way. took to get to Infinity War took. Oh 10 years yeah and I, that's setup. what i actually really appreciate and really like that everything is connected somehow some way they're trying to they try to do that with these here i think in a way but it doesn't really in a way connect. Mm, they didn't like, really take their time to set up their characters yeah. they just threw a bunch of shit in some there. of their movies are okay like aquaman yeah. i definitely did enjoy uh birds of prey i, mean, I did enjoy this last suicide squad i did enjoy a i enjoy that a lot yeah um yeah, so i haven't seen that the snacks, uh, Zack Snyder cut, I did enjoy a lot too. I saw it again it more. yesterday. It was fucking amazing. <laughs> that was, that's dope. That movie is pretty dope. Yeah. I don't know. I was in the mood. I'm like, fuck it. Especially that scene at the end with Flash. That yeah. is my favorite scene in that movie. I'm like, this is fucking. Which Flash scene? The, la- the, the very last the one, one that makes you tear up. Where he, uh, right. where he's, um, <laughs> yeah, that one. Where he's, uh, <laughs> turning back time. Oh, to save the just to yeah, save the fucking yeah. world, bro. Like it, it, it seemed like Savage because the director from the first Avengers took over for Zack Snyder when the theatrical version came out. Mm-hmm. And seeing this, the Zack Snyder, it really does look like sabotage. Because in the, um, the theatrical release, they use Flash to save this like family in a pickup truck, and that's like the scene he has, and he's just cracking jokes. This one, I mean, he's still cracking jokes. Yeah. But that scene in the end is such a fucking game changer. Like, with the it, truck? No. Or in the Snyder cut. Reason. In the Snyder cut. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, like, it just it felt like sabotage. And the same thing with Cyborg's uh, actor. Like, I remember hearing or seeing a bunch of headlines of him going after Josh Sweeting. And honestly, I thought he was just trying to, like, get attention. Mm-hmm. But I, after watching the Zack Snyder Justice League, I was like, yeah. They did him dirty, bro. They cut out a lot of his shit. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it was good too. It was a good storytelling for each of their. Yeah. Role. But um, I appreciated it. I but I still would have appreciated. Time. Oh, I mean, it was good for what they had. But I still would have liked if they did uh, individual movies before Justice League. Yes. I think mean, that's. Uh, what's it called? Rule of Thumb, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. Cause you don't I mean, really know the freaking us is like backstory. Well, fans like would know their powers, so when we see them, you're like, oh. But mm-hmm. for example, like that scene with Flash, you see him kind of like uh, use 
some powers that some people might not know he uses like mm-hmm. vibration yeah you know and stuff like that uh and it'd be dope if they set him up in a previous movie to see what kind of like what his powers do and yeah this and that, you, know? you think they from freaking... exploring it more a little bit yeah, yeah. yeah you think they thought that the uh the cw show was enough and then they're like yeah you know what? screw it let's go yeah, for the movie maybe they they they, they probably were in the cutting room floor and were like oh uh you know there's wow. a show already we're like competing against want... marvel it's just yeah do this thing and there's a flash show people if people want to know about flash they can check that out but no the flash show is way different from the flash uh from the Zack snyder cut that shit's cheesy and uh granted i, I watched up to like season four or five and then i just fell off on i was the TV like show? yeah yeah i i did enjoy them but they were just like uh, there's some parts that i was just like cringe it's just a tv show yeah. dude but it is like mellow is dramatic as fuck like or for, for, for a prime time uh, yeah because yeah. it ain't even netflix tv show mm. the netflix marvel shows are the shit too gang- i keep telling you guys to check them out check them that's out gangsta bro that's talk about gangsta. it they have uh, talk about it agents man. of shield too right yeah i but heard agents of shield don't watch agents it's not even part of the it's like meh. oh it's not yeah well, it's part of, it's connected to the movies but it's not like you need to watch it too. Isn't uh, that Jesus actress Christ. that plays Robin and uh, How I Met Your Mother? Isn't she in the show too? Yeah, that's why when I saw her in the movies, I was like, "Oh shit, she's in the movies too." Like, I yeah, well, she was they're only in the show. Well, they are connected to the movies, but um, they're not like a thing where you need to watch the show to understand what's happening in the movies. Okay. You could just ignore them. What does it mean by canon? Like, because they say Shield is part of the universe, but canon it's not means- really canon. You ever heard that term? No, uh, well, mm. it's canon. It's like it's actually part of, like, um, the Hobbit is canon to the Lord of the Rings because it actually did happen. You know, it's mm-hmm. in in that timeline. So that's what it means by that's what they mean by canon. Like it's like uh, that it is uh, relevant. Yeah. Like if someone were to make a comic book out of uh, Aragorn uh, before the Lord of the Rings, um and say it was canon then you would have to take that comic book into it it, it just adds to the to the actual to their actual uh, events and timelines i missed it i'm sorry now let that's me a ask terrible you explanation this. But... isn't they're gonna aren't they gonna like try to also incorporate the new uh that movie internals now with this also aren't they trying to put that in the phases as well speaking of the eternals yeah. Yeah. go Marvel. watch the trailer Sick trailer, well, teaser. Trailer. That's, I don't even think that's an actual trailer. That's just a teaser, which is weird because it's like we're already like in August. They should have released already a full on trailer of it. But you, 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 you consider that a teaser? It's a teaser. Yeah. Supposedly. How long is it? Because usually that gives it away. If it's and less it's than a minute, like, like thirty seconds. Oh, it is, huh? Yeah. Usually those theatrical trailers are like two, like two minutes. minutes, almost three minutes. Bomb. Um, because I I was doing some research on that, like, because. Well, that video that we saw getting to know the Eternals and the whatever. Supposedly, Thanos is in uh, that story. He is an Eternal. He's yeah, an Eternal, yeah. bro. Um, yeah, he's an Eternal, and I think his mom is so Paper, horrified. Yeah, because uh, um, supposedly, like in that, uh, I so you could heard that. about that story, and I was reading. I well, not reading it, but like uh, saying it on YouTube how she gave birth to him, and apparently, like when you give birth to a purple baby, she was just like yeah, freaked out. She freaked out. She wanted to kill him. And I was like, God, I was like, no wonder. I was like, damn, since birth. They were supposed to have a lot more scenes. Uh, like the directors of Infinity War said they were supposed to have a lot more scenes about Thanos. Like Thanos. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially during that fight with him on Titan. When uh, yeah. Spider-Man and all of them were fighting him. Uh, but they said they decided to come out to cut it out because they didn't want to confuse the audience. Uh, there was supposed to be a trippy ass scene. Like where he talks to... Uh, I think it's the one or this thing called... I don't geek mode uh the 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 living uh tribunal he's like a he's like basically a the god living tribunals are gods right yeah but uh there was a scene where he was supposed to like interact with thanos in infinity war at some point but they cut it out because they didn't want to mm-hmm. confuse the audience the actual living tribunals yeah we're supposed to interact with that food yeah i still think they should have made that movie three three movies like another like, like, like a, a like, Infinity War Endgame and or Endgame should have been the last one, but a movie between Endgame and Infinity like War. Like announce it that it's gonna be about the Infinity Stones. But they, I think they should have used they set up ten years already. They probably were trying to be yeah. like, all right, two movies, boom. Yeah, make them almost three hours. But Fuck I it. mean, why not go 
Add that extra yeah. one. Yeah, shit. Like, <laughs> Make it a trilogy. I, I love me a trilogy of movies that are three hours long. Well, this yeah. was a quadrilogy. It was Avengers, Avengers 2, Infinity War, and Endgame. Oh, true. That's very true. Yeah. It's like four movies. Yeah. But man, the difference between <laughs> yeah. Age of Ultron and Infinity War is like... Yeah. Oh, like this one, you're on Earth, you're dealing with like robots, which is still cool to watch. Yeah. You know, it's fun, but stakes and Infinity War, you're just like from the get go too. You're like, oh shit, we're in it already. Yeah. And I thought that they were at some point gonna all meet up, like when they were on that different planet. Yeah. I thought oh, at some that's... point they were gonna all like mash up and like you know. Sh- oh, that's how they didn't meet up at yes. all. Yes. That's one thing that, that was, was missing. Even more bro. like interesting. I was like, oh, why don't they all know that they're. Trying to fucking fuck up Thanos, like. Do you remember that line in Avengers Two where uh, I think Thanos? I mean, not Thanos. Uh, Tony was like, uh, he's like, if we fight him, we'll lose. And then Cap was like, do that together we'll do too. It. Oh, and that was Tony's biggest freaking. Uh, it's they they set up what had like they set that up pretty well. Uh, I mean. What? I love that well, line. I probably catch it, but oh, man, I'm telling you, I love that line. Up. I'm <laughs> telling you, dude, you gotta pay attention to stuff they say and like little things that they do because it pays off later uh-huh. in the in the movie. Well, That's what I'm gonna do? Well, for, you're near uh, the end already. For because after Endgame, it's Loki, and then it's One Division, and then it's uh Falcon and uh, Night Winter Soldier. Winter Soldier and Winter Soldier. So I still got a little bit of way to go. I'm almost there, bro. Yeah, that that look, that shows on that on uh, Disney Plus. They're freaking phenomenal, man. You get so lost. I actually them, would man. love. To, I actually am really excited to see One Division after seeing uh, the relationship. In, Infinity uh, War. Yes, yeah. like that. Actually, it was like okay. Now I kind of really want to see how it how it's made on. How does Vision come back? Yeah, yeah, exactly. How does Vision come back? What is this all about? And then how does this portray into other movies that are gonna come out later on i've heard loki supposedly for some movies that are coming out soon that it's also has its oh little... they so oh, loki sets up a lot <laughs> yeah. um and, oh uh my first like speculation uh when i first saw infinity war was that because there is a gray vision in the comics so i thought they were gonna somehow like rebuild whatever happened because shuri's smart uh black panther's sister yeah mm. so i'm like oh though She'll, she'll probably figure some way to bring him back, like in a way, you know. But um, I guess you'll have to see. Oh wait, Panther, dude, that's so shady. He's like, this is no place to die, and then yeah, I'm like, you, bro, you just fucking <laughs> vanish on her. Yeah, I actually I'm, like that scene. Yeah, I'm I know. Just see. it was quiet. Yeah. It wasn't. It was too it was quiet in the perfect. theaters. I Y'all know. remember that? And all I heard was when certain like characters disappear. I don't know. It was, oh no! Oh no! Dude, that's the only thing that I actually really do regret not seeing him. Oh no! The oh same no! Thing, when oh, you would go watch yeah. Harry Potter, <laughs> when you would go watch Harry Potter, I remember I went to go see the second one, and as soon as the intro started and that song started playing, everyone in the theater was clapping, really? cheering, like fucking. Well, for Harry me, Potter. it was like. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it was like, uh, like towards the end of that series that people were like, "You're missing the the reaction," because. With Harry Potter, it's like people oh, actually grew up oh, with yes. So seeing like Deathly Hallows Part 1 and 2 like, in theaters, um, it was just like a, a different experience. Which I'm guessing it is like how it is with these Marvel movies. Yeah. Because I remember seeing a, a good... I saw the movie Infinity War, I think, twice in theaters. Of course you would. And uh, hell yeah, man. I love those movies. Of course movies. you yeah, would. I love, I love those movies. You would go see it again. I, that's how it was I wanted, for Avatar. I wanted to go see Suicide Squad again. The recent one. I'm so down to go watch it in theaters again. <laughs> um, but uh, um, yeah, just the theater reaction during those times was like that's what kind of made it for me. Yeah, you know, that <laughs> I was like I could die for, happy uh, now. I could die happy now. Avatar. I watched that shit a lot in theaters. It came out. Oh, Avatar: The Last Airbender. Just kidding. The no, the that movie was good. <clears throat> the one with the blue people. I went to go see the that shit in theaters. <laughs> Don't call them blue people. <laughs> what do you mean, you people? What do you mean, blue people? <laughs> um, but yeah, happy you're almost there. I was hoping you'd be like, yeah, I saw Endgame, dude. But I mean, you're you're there. You're there. It'll be there tonight. You're there, baby. You're you're there. I'm there. I'll get to it. Tonight. Don't worry about it. I'll just say this. Just watch it together tonight. Keep an open <laughs> mind. 
Keep an open mind. And that, I, that's okay. That's, that's so gay. No, seriously, because the um, <laughs> there's one major thing. I'm not gonna give too much here. That I, at first I was like, uh, which I we'll get into it uh, after you watch it. But I'll just say, keep an open mind. Okay. Okay. He's like, I'm always open for anything. Uh, you seen Ant Man and the Wasp, right? Of course, yeah. Did you see I after actually, the credit? I actually liked it. No, really? Uh-huh. I Wait. fell asleep through it. I actually didn't watch it because I finished watching it. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I liked it. I actually but it was it. like when I was like starting to like finish. I didn't see the last like five minutes of it because uh-huh. I knocked out. But I, I still like. I still really like the, the first one. Hey, so like, what's the whole deal with the uh, the ending of uh, what's what's the name? Uh, Marvel. Captain Marvel, the end credit scene. What was that all about? Where? When? At the end of Captain Marvel, the end credit scene. Um, wait, what? I haven't seen Captain Marvel. Really? Oh yeah, he hasn't seen Captain Marvel. Just tell me what happens at the end. No, I'm good. <laughs> no, I think we wouldn't tell. Just really like, good. Honestly, like we wouldn't tell Jose really the ending. Good. Come on, if I haven't watched anything, I'm literally telling you, it's really good. It's pretty Watch funny, it. actually. Yeah, it's, it's pretty really funny. Good. She's she's <laughs> actually she's actually pretty funny. I did it for like Marvel. I, I like watched them and I love them. Hell yeah. What is it? What's wrong? Talk to us. I thought the movie looked whack and I'm not gonna Based on it. what? The trailers. <laughs> oh really? Yeah. You gotta watch it, bro. I feel like she was a waste and you gotta watch it. Endgame, bro. I straight up you can call it hating, but yeah, I think that's what it is. But it's okay, bro. <laughs> you convinced it's me. It's all right, bro. You've turned me, bro. We all you hate. Convince me. <laughs> we all hate. But I, I don't know. I'll probably check it out. Just, just give it a try, bro. Honestly, what do you got to lose? Two hours? God. Two hours. Good. Trust. You'll make them I up. should be telling you that Yo. for every movie you've missed. Two I hate, hours. I hate, I hate, God. Movie. I hate two movies, hours. Bro. I hate God. movies, bro. It's only two hours. Two hours. God. Imagine all the movies I haven't seen. I actually do have Times a really two? question. That it's totally off Marvel. But what happened to uh, <laughs> Batman? The new one that was supposed to come out this year. Been canceled. It's canceled? Oh, the one with Robert Pattinson? Yeah. No. Oh, I thought canceled. you were talking about the, the Affleck one. Oh no, that one I know. Ask for like one. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I haven't heard um, anything about it. I haven't heard any any anything more of it. Like, I mean, there's behind the scenes photos every now and then, but I'm like, when they start doing that and hype the movie too much, to me, I've noticed that's kind of a sign that the movie's gonna be well, okay, hasn't been hyped up enough because I have not heard anything about it. I've well, not seen anything about it. Well, they've I'm had like, behind the scenes uh, photos and shit. Those ones before, yeah, but no, like they've had some recent ones, ones with uh, uh, Catwoman. I was gonna say Black Cat, uh, Catwoman, and I think some some more of Riddler. What the hell? I haven't seen those either. What I have seen is uh, Thor: Love and Thunder, uh, the Christian Bale vid- uh, pictures. Oh, I'm, oh, I'm staying away. Be... I'm staying away from all. You guys can talk about it though, but uh, as far as pictures, I'm staying away of how like how how he looks. Anyways, Why yeah, let's it? talk about it. No, because I've seen the pictures too. He's um, painted, I guess, in his villain form. Yeah, and, and they're saying they're not gonna they're not gonna go with uh, CGI from the looks of it. That's good. Yeah, I like it. And that can get ripped. Yeah, Christian like Bell. quick. Well, he's a really good method. Yeah, actor. he'll get into a role. Oh no, yeah, he and it looks like the roles and then does he also like lose a lot of weight because there's a have you, moving? He have weighed the ninety one, pounds. The one where he. Uh, he played that boxer's brother. I think it's called The Fighter. Yeah, sick ass movie. He is skinny as hell now, but he oh, he kills that you role. You thought that was skinny? See the machinist. The machinist. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, where he had to like drop. The X is silent, so don't pronounce the X. The machinist. Yeah, the ma- machinist. That movie, it, he's like literally like 90 pounds. Yeah. For some dude who like you see in Batman fucking like ripped Still skinny. Shit. That's the skinniest Batman I've ever seen. Damn. Still a good Batman. But... That's what's up. Or suits go. I'm like, mm. wait a minute. What are you? <laughs> I know you started as off far the, as movies go. Off the day I weird, just wanted to like, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so you said he, by far he was the skinniest Batman. Yeah. Val Kilmer was bigger than him. Well, at least the suit. Like you look at Batman's suit. Like, if you were to look at Batman Christian Bale, 
skinny ass motherfucker you'd be like uh-huh compared to who's this guy <laughs> compared to who or are you just saying in general man, you see just batman. in general oh, like okay you know, i was like okay i was like he, he played a good bruce wayne and a batman i'm not knocking his acting but no no no, no yeah the way he looked in the like, suits like you were just like oh his suit was... the suits yeah the suit looks kind of like i mean eh. Meh, say. Meh. I don't like, know. Bro. I'll be honest. As far as the suits go, I'm out to fight you on that. As far as the suits go, I kind of like the Affleck's a little more. It, it seemed like, uh, but dude, Affleck. If you ran into Aff, uh, Affleck's Batman compared to Christian Bale's Batman, I'd be scared as fuck with the fucking. And plus, oh, he has, do you, do you get? get yes, plus, that's... he has armor. I'm okay. getting the sense that okay. freaking okay. Ben uh, Ben Affleck's Batman is a little. Why do I get the sense that it's a little stockier? That that's yeah, right, shorter okay, and stockier. Yeah, yeah. It's a little but bit more like uh, like metallic, bolt. yes, more yeah. a little bit more. Sh- and it's actually armor. Like yeah, more you see when they try to shoot him, it's like pew, 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 pew. yeah. So I'm like hell yeah, but okay. I'm like I'll be scared of that motherfucker. Yeah, you're right. I could it's see di- that. It's now. different fucking. Uh, uh, but, like I said, as far as the suits go, I still oh, I still prefer I Christian Bale as Batman. All right, I'll say that. But suits. I have to go with Affleck. I like, like the one with Kings. the black underwear and then the yellow belt. That, <laughs> that's my suit, bro. That's Bales, no? <laughs> uh, but, but Bales does... I did like his uh the way his belt looked. Yeah. I like so, the whole thing. It's dark. Yeah. Just dark. dark. But I dark. get it. Uh, Nolan said he wanted to keep it re- realistic. So I guess realistically, you know... I guess... Hmm. He still he, made it work, though. Uh, he guesses. Hmm. Which was your favorite out of all three? Mine, I gotta say, is Batman Begins. The one with Joker. Huh? Two. Uh, yeah, I kind of prefer the Dark Knight. Dark Knight. Dark Knight's good. That's just the I mean, best the one. Batman Begins was I good, too. Agree. Batman Begins was good, too. The last one, honestly, it was good, but it just kind of... It felt like... It felt a little boring to me. It one? felt like it started to lose its realism. Yeah. I don't know, and I'm sorry. I, Wait, I'm the, the last one? So yeah. sorry It got boring this. at the end. Like I did not see Anne Hathaway as Catwoman. Catwoman was barely even involved. Though. I know she was, but it's like, I didn't... I just... I don't know when she was in the front of that tunnel on that bike. I was like, ah. pause. <laughs> and he pauses there for one whole no. day. I don't know. I just wanted to picture somebody well, else. I could see it. Yeah, one. I've heard that before, and I could see she that. She was a super, super side uh, character. Oh, uh, Catwoman. She was a what? She was super, super like a... side character. Super side. She only came out like a couple. Like, of like a side character, oh. but like legit side character. Like she had such a minor role in that movie. I'm fucking killing dark nurses or ally. I know, right? Bane. 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 <laughs> Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. All right. Um, but honestly, like, out of the Batmans, my favorite would have to be Tim Burton's. Sorry. Sorry. Everyone left me. <laughs> Tim Burton. Tim Burton. That's yeah. probably I will say the only Tim Burton movie I enjoy. I know. That's, is that controversial to y'all? Yes, because oh, actually no, because honestly I haven't well, seen. Uh, to them, but I have not fully seen a Nightmare on Elm. Or uh, I haven't seen that, that at movie, all. Uh, the... I like how you thought I was gonna be like what? <laughs> uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. There you go. Nightmare Before <laughs> Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I'm uh, not actually, yeah, that seen that movie completely. Bits of it. I haven't seen it. Don't um, plan to see it. Any of the Tim Burton movie? I'm not. No, I'm not a fan of. What about Edward Scissorhands? Nope. Oh my god! How oh dare you? Such a beautiful movie. <laughs> he's so misunderstood, and he's just. Oh my god. <laughs> Tim Burton fan Tim Burton. Huh? of the Batman's, or just in Tim Burton? Fan? I hate Tim Burton movies. They uh, they used to freak me out as a kid. They still kind of do. One thing we agree on, right? What do you mean? So you hate Tim Burton no, movies? I, I was like, except, okay, ba- except Batman. I said that my favorite uh, movies were like the Batman from uh, Tim Burton. Uh-huh. Batman and Batman Returns. And then we got into like, I was like, I've never actually watched A Nightmare Before Christmas. Or well, I was like, I'm not the biggest fan of Tim Burton. Yeah. And he was like, I'm not. You'll see in the recording. And nice. then nice. I was like, so you've never watched Edward Scissorhands? And he was like, nope. Oh, you either? I don't, no. Yeah, I know who he is, but that's about like, it. <laughs> his movies just don't appeal to me. His cousin is, is way cooler. Edward Forty Hands. 
That fool's the life of the, the party, first man. in his hands and shit. Like, <laughs> that fool's no, the life of the party, bro. Scissor hands is a good movie. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm pretty. It's one of them like kid it, yeah. movies, huh? It's not a kid movie because he's kid so in misunderstood. <laughs> <laughs> trying to fit in. Oh my god! I get you, Josie. <laughs> I'm with you on that. Is it one of those movies where he's misunderstood and he's actually one of the best barbers or some shit? Boom! Called it. Am I right? High five. No. <laughs> It was just a good movie, okay? It, I'll throw it's not a kid movie? Why? It's not a kid movie. He elaborate. You saw it as a kid. As a kid, I saw it. And no, it's a kid movie. It scared, scared the shit out of me. I saw The Exorcist as a kid. Oh, hell no. no that's I didn't a kid, kid movie. movie. Well, actually, I, li- I refused to watch it as a kid. <laughs> yeah. You didn't watch it as a kid. I did. <laughs> Puked in the first time I saw that shit, and I had to sleep with the lights on with like for what, a month? Two months? Three months? It's like, I don't gotta go a bit. No, no, no <laughs> not me. Not, to, not today. No. I, I, I that go. movie fucked me up. I'm not gonna lie. That movie fucked me up as a kid. My brother was such an asshole with that. He would like try to scare me and like turn off the lights and close the door and be like, The Exorcist. <laughs> you're watching oh this. Oh my God. If you're watching this shit, you know he's like, The Exorcist. <laughs> you know, I'm, like, I'm like, I'll be running for the door like that girl from Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is Joe, bro. Because I do the same shit. Oh my god! I used to say to my little cousin same thing, like what was it, Bloody Mary? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, and close the door. Oh. <laughs> you run towards the door, like no, I'm fine. Say Bloody Mary three <laughs> times in the mirror, oh, or say Candy, candy man. man, Candy, Candy, candy man. man. It's not the Candy Man. You used to give candy around the neighborhood. I'm actually very kind of excited to watch that one. Jordan Peele's one. behind it. Yeah, he's had a His one cons- miss. I heard which one? Us. Uh, which I haven't um, seen. Yeah, I, I hated seen hated that movie. You saw it? Yeah. You hated it? I was like, I knew it. I knew I should have done something else today. Really? It was that bad? Yeah. It's fucking... It's like... It's one of those that like, climbs up. Like, and then the pit goes. Oh. And then... Yeah, and like, then it didn't even go over the hump. It just went to <laughs> back. Oh, no way. I was like... like it's I could've clones done, trying to take over the future. I could have done something better. Something better that day. I knew it, huh? Clones trying to take over the future. Called it. High five. I called it? Yeah. Because I saw a YouTube really? video on it. <laughs> Wait, what? What? Because I saw a YouTube video on it. <laughs> oh. What? <laughs> so that's what it really is about? Just futuristics? Just trying to take oh, over the future? Well, he gave uh, it away. Clones. Yeah. Clones trying to take... It's stupid. The story... Is it yeah, yeah, I mean... Explain it, was, it sounds like an M.I. Shyamalan movie. Oh, I was just about to say that. I swear. Seriously, it seemed like an M.I. Shyamalan movie. I was like, what? What? But I thought Get Out was really good. I still haven't seen that one. It's good. I saw the yeah. ending to oh, it. Oh, the one with the, the interracial couple. Yeah, yeah. That movie was intense. I heard it hit a lot of talking points, or it has a lot of talking. It points. had a lot of. Well, yeah. mostly because of what the direct uh, Jordan Peele said about uh, the reason behind it. He said that he does feel like that when he's surrounded by like when he's like the only black guy in the room. You know, who Jordan Peele said? That? Yeah, he said that he felt like kind of uncomfortable. So he based that off of. He based Peel, Get Peel, Out on that. He was a shorter, stockier one, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw Get Out. He's made... What are the movies that he made? Get Out? Um, he had one before that. And then... He's um, had a couple after he had that. A, uh, he had there one There was a family that. one, too. Not uh, us, though. There was another family one. Uh, yeah, I think he has a comedy under his belt, I, too. I do like his style. Yeah, like we don't have a phone to like. I know, for stuff. real, man. If I had my laptop, I'd get on that motherfucker right now. <laughs> if I had the Wi Fi password, I'd get it on right now. <laughs> right now. He's like faster than y'all. Jordan O'Eal. Oh, yeah, I can't. I have no service down here, so. <laughs> you missed you miss the P or what? Yeah, I missed the P, bro. Jordan O'Eal. <laughs> no. Jordan O'Neal. Uh, upcoming movies, Candyman. 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 There's a movie called oh, Nope yeah. coming out. Used to, oh, by him, yeah. He used to give candies around the neighborhood. Candyman. Then, parents started finding racial blades. <laughs> Killed him. Damn near slaughtered him. What? Yeah, that movie is, looks interesting. It does. I know the, the old school one was. <laughs> that one scene where he's like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> It looks um, it looks a little bit more uh, psychological, like a psychological thriller this time. Which one? And the old sure, one, uh, it's actually Candy more Candy like Man? a horror or like a horror. I movie. like psych. Yeah, psych movie. this one looks like more like he's gonna go crazy or something. Uh, psychological. Uh, one. Uh, Jordan Peele was a it was a voice in Toy Story Four. Oh yeah, it's yeah. the those, those two little stuff bunnies. It was him, him and his oh, homie, oh, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The tortilla, no. The 
Look at the Alright, filmography. Here we go. Keanu, get out. Black Klansman. Oh, Keanu. That's that's the uh, comedy one you were talking about. No, is that oh, the cat? Cat one, yeah. I don't know. Oh God, that Robots. one. <laughs> I'll probably put an image here. No. Yay. That's jokes. I, I felt like he had more movies, but might be his homie then. Nah. Oh, he. Was, Keegan. Last movie I've seen him or seen clips of him was in Predator. Or Predators, one of the recent. Oh, he goes out in that movie, huh? He kind of came off the annoying. Predator. Really? It looked like he was trying to be too funny. You don't think that was his role in the movie? You know how, like, U.S. agent? Yeah, but. Fuck that fool. Ooh. Fuck that fool. Wait, what are you talking about? Huh? What are you talking about? Talking about aliens? The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was saying how you know U.S. agent. 